Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome to Easy Cooking. So today's recipe is going to be another of my mom's favorite recipes. I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade donuts. They are super easy to make, super delicious. The preparation time is about 20 minutes. The cooking time is also 20 minutes. But we have to let the dough rise for about an hour and a half. But I promise every minute is worth it because you're going to love them too. Let's get started. Let's go through the ingredients. We need 3 cups of all-purpose flour, 1.5 cups of milk, half a cup of granulated sugar, 3 eggs, 1 stick of unsalted butter, 3 tablespoons of fresh yeast, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, and we also need vegetable oil for frying and a mixture of granulated sugar and ground cinnamon for coating. Let's get started. We're going to start by cleaning and disinfecting our working area. I'm going to be working on my table. Now we're going to warm the milk in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Set it aside for a moment. Using a fork or your fingers, crumble the fresh yeast until you have the texture of breadcrumbs. Also set it aside for a moment. Like I said, I'm going to be working on the table so it's already cleaned and disinfected. On my working area, I'm going to sift the flour and sugar together. Once you have the flour and sugar into a pile, we're going to make an indentation in the center. In this hole, we're going to add in the butter, cut into small pieces, the three eggs and the crumble yeast. Now we're going to add in the milk, but before you add it, make sure the milk is warm enough. We want the milk to be more in the hot side than in the warmer side, but not too hot or else it will cook the eggs. Slowly add in the milk, followed by the vanilla extract, and start whisking all the ingredients inside the indentation together. Slowly, using your hands, incorporate the flour and the wet ingredients together. This is a very messy job, but the end results are worth the mess. These donuts are beyond delicious. So continue to work with the dough and feel free to add more flour if needed. You will end up adding about two thirds of a cup of extra flour to get the texture we want. Just add a little flour at a time because if you add it all at once, you will end up with a really tough dough and your donuts will be hard as a rock. We don't want that. So keep on eating your dough and add as much flour as you need to to get a soft dough that is not sticky at all. Once the dough has the texture we want, we will continue to knead for about 3 more minutes. After 3 minutes of kneading, we will let our dough rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. If you live in a place with really cold weather, you might need to wait longer for the dough to rise. Place the dough inside a large container and cover it with a clean wet kitchen towel. Make sure to soak the kitchen towel in warm water. This will speed up the rising process. On a flour surface, roll out the dough to an inch and a half thickness. Cut into circles using a donut cutter and set aside for about one hour to rise again. In a large pan, heat up about one cup of vegetable oil to a temperature of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Fry the donuts few at a time for about one minute on each side or until golden brown and completely cooked. To make sure the donuts are completely cooked without burning them or toasting them too much, I like to keep on turning them after 30 seconds on each side. And I turn them about 4 times. So in other words, I fry each donut for about 2 minutes turning every 30 seconds. And just keep on repeating this step until you're done frying all the donuts. Drain them on paper towels and while they are still warm, roll them on a mixture of granulated sugar and ground cinnamon. This recipe makes about 25 donuts, and I cover some of them with melted chocolate and sprinkle them with shredded coconut. I also cover some of them in caramel and sprinkle them with chocolate sprinkles. And that's about it! I really hope you enjoyed this recipe! Please don't forget to visit my blog to print this and some other delicious recipes, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time! Bye bye!